Okay guys, today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna find out how to handle a gun safely. So when you see the gun on the table, make sure that the first thing you do is, when you're picking it up, is not to have your finger inside the trigger guard and off the trigger. I like to keep my, I like to keep my, my hand and my, my trigger finger below the, the trigger so that I'm not tempted to put it inside there. So when you, when you take the gun, make sure that you remove the mag. So once you remove the mag, you need to lock the slide back. In order to lock the slide back, you need to flick up with your thumb on the slide release while pulling the slide back and letting go of the slide while keeping this button flicked up. I'll show you. We're going to pull the slide back, flick this up and let go of the slide. Now the gun is locked back and you can check to see if it's safe. So in order to check to see it's safe, make sure it's always pointed in a safe direction. You don't want to point it towards yourself or towards other people. What you want to do is you want to check in the chamber to see if there's any BBs. So this is what it's going to look like when it's empty. And this is what it's going to look like when there's a BB inside. So once you check that, this gun is safe. Okay, what to do if you have a BB inside your gun and you wanna make it safe. So there's two ways of handling this issue. First, let the slide forward and you can rack the gun a few times. Make sure it's facing down so the BB can fall out. And the second way is to poke it out with a long stick or a toothpick. So since airsoft guns aren't like the real thing, on a real gun, when you're racking the slide back, the rounds would be ejected, but in an airsoft gun, it just sits in the hop-up. And the only way to get it out is to either poke it out or shoot it out. So poking it out, just get a stick, poke it gently, BB should come out. When you're putting down the gun, make sure it, the mag is out and the slide is locked back. Now the gun is locked back and you can check to see if it's safe. So once the mag is out and the slide is locked back, you can put it down in a safe direction. So that's how to handle a pistol safely. Okay, we're going to take a look at the rifle. Same rules apply. Finger outside of the trigger guard, point it in a safe direction, and make sure there's no BBs in the chamber. We're going to grab it and keep our hand below the trigger guard. Once we have it in our hand, we're going to take the magazine out, lock the bolt open in order to check to see if there's anything inside. So in order to lock the bolt open, you need to push down on the bottom of the bolt release while pulling back on the charging handle. Pushing down on the bottom, Pulling back on the charging handle. Now the bolt is open. So now we have to make sure that there's no BBs inside. So by checking inside this chamber here, we can see if there's anything inside. This is what it's gonna look like when there's no BBs. This is gonna what it's gonna look like when there are. Once you check these, this gun is ready to go. There's a BB inside. Rack it back a few times. If it doesn't come out, you're going to have to poke it out with a, with a stick. Okay, now we want to put the gun down, remove the magazine. You need to lock the bolt back to make sure that it's, in, it's open by pushing down on the bolt release, locking the bolt back. So by checking inside this chamber here, we can see if there's anything inside. And when we put it down, we need to make sure it's in a safe direction. And since the AR platform, you're, you're able to put it on safe while, it's, while the bolt is back, try to keep it, on, keep it on safe. Okay, next up we have a shell ejecting shotgun. Same rules apply. When you pick up the gun, make sure your finger is outside of the trigger guard. Open the action. Make sure there's no, no shells in the bore and no shells in the magazine tube. 
So since the shotgun is like the real thing, in order to clear it, you're gonna have to push down on this button because this is what opens the action if the if there's a round in the chamber a shell in the chamber. So you pull this back and the shell will be ejected. And once you want to put it down, just make sure that the the action is open, verify, and put it down in a safe direction. Rule number one, always assume every gun is loaded. Even if someone hands you the gun and verifies it's unloaded, you must check yourself. Number two, finger off the trigger and trigger guard. Do not put your finger on the trigger until the gun is parallel to the ground and you're ready to shoot. Number three, remove the magazine. Without the magazine inside, a gas gun cannot shoot. Please note that a real gun can still shoot if there's a round in the chamber. Number four, lock the slide slash bolt slash action back. The gun cannot shoot in this position. Please note, this will cause real guns to eject the round in the chamber. Number five, clear the gun. Verify there's nothing in the chamber or obstructing the barrel. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you learned something from my video. Let me know what you guys would like to see on the next video.